Good Thursday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis just after 1 o'clock on Thursday morning. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a live update as to what's going on with the current situation where it comes to weather in the Mid-South area. We have certainly a lot of possible problems for later on today. The good news at this point, it looks like the severe threat is starting to diminish by just a little bit. Not by much, but just a little bit. And as we go into the rest of the day, we'll be looking for the possibility of even more thunderstorms heading our direction. If you've never joined us before, this is our video weather blog called Weather Overtime, our exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime. Current conditions right now 68 degrees with winds gusting out of the south at about 16 up to 50 miles per hour in parts of the mid-south this morning. Expecting high temperatures today back in the lower 70s and low temperatures late tonight into Friday morning back to around 50 degrees with showers and thunderstorms both days. Want to catch the entire forecast website right there or back to pointing that direction right there at wreg.com slash weather. If you'd like to take a look, we are live on Google+, YouTube, Periscope, and Twitter at this time, so thanks for joining us bright and early in the morning hours of Thursday. Let's take a look and see what's going on where it comes to weather in the Mid-South. We don't have a lot going on just as of right now. Things are relatively quiet. These showers that are moving through parts of the metro area at this time are gusty, breezy winds out there, but we're just not seeing anything in the way of severe weather. Again, cross your fingers. Hopefully it stays that way. We still have the possibility of some strong weather into the rest of the day, but we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Heaviest rainfall so far is back to around the area between Collierville Oakland and Somerville, right around Fisherville and Eads, south of I-40. That's where we're getting the heaviest activity. Some pretty good showers back around the Moscow area and back toward Williston in southwestern areas of Fayette County in Tennessee this morning. Heading back into northern Mississippi, light to moderate scattered showers at this time. We're just not getting, again, a lot of major activity out there, but there is going to be both wind blowing your vehicle around and then also some rain showers out across portions of the Mid-South. Heading back into around eastern Arkansas. We tried to get a couple of thunderstorms going back around uh, Forest City not too long ago, but most of what we've been seeing throughout the course of the rest of the day, excuse me just a second, my monitor appears to be having some issues at this point. And get back to this. There we go. Sorry about that. Looking live TV, internet, that's what happens. Numbers again, not doing too bad out there. We're seeing again some showers out across much of northeastern Arkansas and the Boot Hill. But beyond that, the heaviest activity again in southwestern Tennessee, just to the mainly east of the metro area, and everything continuing to move through this way. A little bit more activity going on, stronger activity back around the area close to Little Rock and back to the north and east of there. That activity is moving back toward the north and to the east. So that's going to be heading up into around Harrison, uh, west of Jonesboro in that area. South of the Mid-South, thunderstorms down around Winona and north of Jackson. And a lot of this activity making its way back toward the north and the east. So we may see some of this activity down toward Yazoo City, Jackson, around Vicksburg, making its way up into the Mid-South as we get into the course of the rest of the morning. So expecting more chances of showers and thunderstorms as we get into the rest of the day for today. We're also going to be seeing, again, the possibility of maybe some stronger weather coming on through. Now, that stuff that's making its way through uh, off to the west of us, as it gets a little bit closer to the Mid-South, what we're mainly going to be looking for is going to be scattered showers and thunderstorms as that makes its way from west to east. We do not have too much of anything taking place in the way of Major League Severe Weather from what it looks right now. Again, some of this starts to break up by just a little bit. Lingers around the area, but lessens as we get into drive time around uh, 7 o'clock this morning in about 6 hours or so. And then the chances of showers and thunderstorms basically kind of stay away until we get to the heating part of the day. When it starts getting warmer, the atmosphere starts getting more buoyant. We start to see more possibilities of showers and thunderstorms starting to pop up as we get into around early during the afternoon. And some of those could be very much on the strong to severe side. But here's the good news. We're going to be kind of on the tail end of this thing. So as these storms fire up in a line going east of the Mid-South area, making their way back toward Middle Tennessee. Most of what we should be seeing 
is going to be heading away from us and getting stronger the farther it goes into Middle Tennessee, Northern Alabama, Northeast Mississippi, away from the Mid-South area. But notice this line is looking decently strong at this point, so we could be looking at some more problems from this in the way of very powerful thunderstorms coming on through, as in maybe tornadic activity. So something to watch out for there. By 10 o'clock tonight, it looks like it's going to be all over with, everything moving out of the picture, so that's going to be about it from what we get in the way of anything involving showers or thunderstorms. Here's part of the good news. It's a good news, bad news type situation about maybe a day or so ago from the National Weather Service, not ignoring you, just taking a look at a computer system here that's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Uh, the good news is, according to the National Weather Service, about maybe just a couple of hours ago, we did have a area listed uh, roundabout into around parts of the Mid-South for a moderate risk of severe weather. Now that is not the case at this time. The latest forecast has downgraded it to a uh, the orange level enhanced mode and that again mainly into areas along and east of Memphis, Jackson, Oxford into Middle Tennessee, northwestern Alabama, back into areas back here well to the east of the metro area. Now we still stand the possibility of severe weather for basically all of the Mid-South from anywhere along the Mississippi River and then back toward the east. That's where we're going to be seeing again the possibility of even more activity developing into the rest of the day today. So you do need to stay up to date on what is going on so we can keep you safe as to what's happening. Make certain your cell phone is charged, make certain your weather radio has extra batteries in it. You just can't depend on the tornado sirens to let you know what's going on. A lot of businesses, a lot of homes, usually sealed up pretty well, great insulation. It's going to be next to impossible to hear anything out there, so you need alternate ways of getting weather information, like staying tuned to News Channel 3 on air, if at all possible. So stick around for more of that. Again, this is good news in a sense in that we do not have quite as much severe weather threat as we did May, uh, maybe about two to three hours ago. So the forecast has indeed changed for the better, but we do still have that enhanced risk of severe weather sitting right back over to around portions of the eastern viewing area. So later on today, this afternoon and into this evening especially, that's when we look to have the worst possibility of severe weather. We could still have some severe storms later on this morning into early this afternoon, but most of the activity looks like it's going to be back into around areas close to this evening. So that's the time frame you want to make News Channel 3. What's going on with the forecast overnight? Next three hours, again, numbers back mainly in the mid to upper 60s. We may drop a little bit on the temperatures. The computer model throwing in these thunderstorms out here so that could cause a big drop in the temperatures in a local area but doesn't look like anything really huge taking place at this time so we may see some fluctuations in the temperatures but otherwise very much on the mild side out there going even farther into around getting the kids to school notice that we have very breezy winds coming on through temperatures back in the mid to upper 60s and some showers and thunderstorms possible not entirely likely all the way on through but notice the numbers do go up from 30 percent in the next hour to 50 percent by the time we hit around early tomorrow morning by the time the kids or early this morning by the time the kids are on their way to school so that's again something to watch out for there the, these numbers here will change over the next several hours so you definitely want to stay tuned to more with News Channel 3 how do you do that? get our weather app if you don't have it it's for whatever platform you've got, whether it's Apple or uh, Android, search WREG Weather, and you can download our Memphis Weather app for the Mid-South Weather app, brand new and improved. George Brown, our webmaster, taking care of this one. Thank you very much for doing that. And, of course, stay tuned for my forecast coming up on the Memphis AM radio show. That'll be bright and early starting at 7 o'clock with C. Austin and Josh talking about all sorts of things in and around Memphis and the Mid-South area. And an hour after that, Bob and Josh take over with Talk Back live sports chat and a lot of it starting at 8 a.m. and that's on a.m. 7:30 Yahoo Sports Radio starting this morning at about seven o'clock. So tune in for more there and of course don't forget to tune into more of my social media networks all out there available on the icons that you see up there. Also over there. As soon as I figure out how to get it on the Game Boy Network, I will let you know. We'll have an update on the complete forecast with Todd Demers bright and early starting at 4:30 a.m. So stay stay tuned for more on that and we'll be monitoring throughout the rest of the night. If anything turns severe. 
tune in to News Channel 3, and we will keep you advised on that. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick weather update of our video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Hope you enjoyed it. If there's something on here you'd like to see more specific, email me at austin.onik at wreg.com, and we'd love to have you along for the ride. Tell me what you want to see on here. We'll be glad to make this your weather blog so you can see a little bit more about what's going on here. Stick around for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the morning on air and online.